Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing some stories for my six by eight story album. And we are plugging along because I had printed so many photos and then I, life got busy in May. Um, and now I have some time off because believe it or not, Valentina is on vacation with this grandma and grandpa. So these are Miguel's parents for two weeks. And let me tell you already, it's already been like two days, three days. Um, I know now the secret to keeping a house clean. And I know now the secret to everything else. Don't have kids. You know what I mean? I clean the house, lickety split the whole thing, you know, floors, bathrooms, everything. And it's just me and my husband. And it's still nice and clean. I haven't had to put anything away if we haven't used it. It's just funny. <laughs> like, it's, I'm, like she's five years old and I'm remembering what my life was like before I, I had a child. <laughs> So we are telling a few stories and one layout, well, two layouts are going to be quite similar, um, simply because of the products I'm using that I want to definitely have in my album. So um, I recently purchased the Heart Eyes collection from Simple Stories and it is just, you know what, it's a Valentine's Day collection, I believe, from this year and it came with this, I got the 6x8 too. And don't get me wrong, I will st I'll, I'll be able to use it despite it being Valentine's Day, but I need a collection with like this color scheme. Red, pink, and mint, and orange with like black and white. Like I just love the color palette so, so much, you know? So some of the cards are hard to use right now like, unless it was Valentine's Day, but like, like that right there, this color scheme is my love language, like very much so. So, um, so I pulled the sticker book, definitely the titles, and then I have a few cards. I pulled this paper um, to tell the story of Valentina. It's like about her second school day photos, and I have a few elements, and these cards I wanted to use for the journaling cards. These are from Studio Calico. So I just felt like it went well with that. So this is one story. Second story is about, so I did a story in the first volume of her relationship with Papa, which is, um, these are Miguel's parents and this is Abuela, but we call her Abby, um, in the old album. And so this was a really good picture of them together at the beach. So I loved, this was a, what is it? Like a prompt based page from the stories by the month kit. So I'm using that, but I also think I want to use the vellum and kind of have it as an overlay. Um, and then have like, I, this card is Studio Calico too, just because all the colors are here because of her great hat and her bathing suit. So we are doing something with this. And then similarly, like I said, two of them are kind of similar, but I just definitely want these stories in my album. This was a picture from Easter. Clearly love it. And the yellow in this picked up the yellow in her dress, which is why I'm bringing this one out. And then I think I might do the overlay as well, but I just don't know. But, you know, definitely this one. Now, granted, do you need to see this process video? It's me punching holes and stuff, but I'll figure out some more um, uh, embellishments for this side and see if I use this one as an overlay. I'm not sure. So sorry about the repetitiveness here, but I still feel like sometimes these videos and these kind of sort of inspirations are important to still share because I don't want you to ever feel like I always do these massive elaborate pages. Um, sometimes, and I, I guess the season of storytelling that I am in right now, I really want to get the story in my album. I don't want to forget anything and I desperately want to stay current. So in order to do that, I need to keep some of these layouts simple and if they are in formula, that's even easier, which is why I love some of these um, these prompt-based pages from Allie's collections because it does it for me, um, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I just always want you to keep that in mind that, I, you know, for me, in order to stay current and with just, like, the last six months always kind of going through my camera phone, um, that's how I'm able to do it just because, and that's why I like this size because I don't, you know, to do a 12 by 12 layout for each of these gets a little bit harder with time. Um, cause most of the time I don't have the time, which I'm sure is a lot of my subscribers. Uh, but I do like 
mixing in the 12 by 12s that you've been seeing on my channel because they allow me to be um, a bit more artistic with, you know, the layout and the embellishments because I can add tons more things. And there's an avenue for that too. Um, so don't get me wrong, like I, back in the day, like in the beginning of my channel, all I used to do was 12 by 12 layouts. So I have tons of albums of 12 by 12 layouts, but I appreciate now that I'm on volume two of having a six by eight, the, 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 the quickness that it can be because I'm getting all of the verbiage out on a card or in text, you know, and getting that longer story told with um, just a larger photo, you know, like one photo and, and done. And, and there's value in that too. So I still hope you find these, um, you know, enjoyable to watch. And I, of course, always, you know, you get a little bit of um, behind the scenes with me because I do always share where the photo is and what we're doing and what's going on in life. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's get started on these fun, colorful layouts. Sorry about getting a little long-winded there on my explanation on just appreciating the 6x8 size, uh, but I still hope you always find inspiration uh, with my layouts. It's truly, uh, you know, the whole reason why I share. So this story in particular, I think I had mentioned it. I know I've already told it before in her school year album, which I want to keep together. So this is just kind of the same uh, the point of the story about getting her tested. So this was also her school photo day it was like the next day after we tested her. Um, so I definitely was using this collection, love the collection, picks up the colors. The fact that I get to mix up Studio Calico and then also uh, Simple Stories Heart Eyes collection is just like chef's kiss. I think this is where um, even for me, my you know, everyone's style evolves over time. And when you can have a subscription like a Studio Calico or an Ally Edwards and, and only use those products, it's what they're there for. But I find it just a great accomplishment when I can find um, those, those products and then incorporate like more of my scrapbooking stuff in with it too. That is a win-win for me. So when I'm going in with that big, bold title, it's on foam love that impactful title on this like it's so good and so then I just go through all the other little embellishments and I think I find a couple of hearts and things that I wanted to add just to sprinkle on the page then the pattern paper I chose it's kind of like on a mint green a darker tone of mint green and then the peachy colors are all like the little emojis and I love the way that turned out too and then the little flag I have there I do end up using that and I put it on the outside of the page protector that way there's a little of a uh, texture to it and then the the sticker and the enamel dot are also on the outside of that page protector so that one was a really fun bold layout to do and honestly even when I'm looking at collections now yes I always want to get like um, a few of the papers um, but really if there's a thicker collection with it I'm all about the thicker collection again but the ones with the titles not so much the letters but the title ones are chef's kiss for even this size because I do almost find myself going through my stash and like using up old um, title collections which is really good because I'm using what I have and always appreciate with collections come out now so yeah so here so here I am adding in three chipboard tags to this layout. I just wanted to add those warmer orangey pinky tones that are on the right side of the layout with this side that has a more blue tone dominance, but I felt like that was the best way to link them. I do go ahead and add in the vellum sheet between it, add that uh, Studio Calico card that says life is good. I do end up doing all of that. So then this is an acetate sheet that came with, I believe this prompt base pay, uh, scrapbook paper as well. And this one might be May or June as well. I get them confused. I'm so sorry, but I'll leave it linked down below. And then also using some chipboard tags again in different sizes. And I love them in a vertical column on this layout. Definitely made that page work. I go ahead and do all of my journaling for this layout on uh, matte clear sticker paper, which has been like such a game changer for me because I always was jealous before of those that could, you know, however they manipulate a Word document to then print it out on here. I could never do that. I even went searching for an old school typewriter. It was never properly, <laughs> never did it right. And this, I don't know, how, I forgot who was the first one that I saw did that game changer like now I just always measure everything out and I can definitely get all my journaling on the page and I love it 
I had a black and white photo on the back of that one as well. And then I go ahead on this one and do all of my journaling um, with my penmanship with gray ink. This is a Pilot G2, one of my favorites. Okay, I have finished these three layouts. I went ahead and finished the journaling on this one off camera. That way I, you didn't see me, you know, write all this out. So, um, it's in my story album volume two for my family. You saw me add all these pieces and it came out really well with the yellow and the yellow in her dress. Um, and then it was just, I'm doing it now. It is June, but the story I am doing, this is an e a photo from Easter, was everything going on around April. So, and then the next one, and I, I wonder, no, I won't adhere them yet. I'm going to leave this one quite loose and not adhere pages back to back yet in case I can fill extra stories in between to see if that would be better. Then I finished this one with her uh, grandma. Um, you saw me toward the end add that card has an extra thing and then this one. So these two pages kind of um, mimic each other, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> and then a black and white photo also of them. This one was from two years ago. Uh, but again, it was just a lovely photo I have of them together. And then things about her and her Abby. And then I finished. I left this one here because it's the opposite of here. Because I definitely want to have this as a card for something in between here. Um, so even if these get uh, used, uh, that one is just too pretty to block. And then it was this one again. Loved using the Oh My uh, Heart Eyes collection for this story. And the embellishments. It was a it's a fun collection. So remember, I mixed up Studio Calico with it as well as this, and I just love the big, bold title. And that will be the three for this layout. I hope you have been inspired. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Give this video a thumbs up, as always. Thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, bye!